So today we commemorate uh, leading seaman Harry. So James will say a few words. We'll have the tolling of the bells and uh, then uh, we'll have a prayer after that. Thank you very much. A uh, bit of a spate of, of naval commemorations um, as we get to the end of the wars is the third uh, in less than two months. Uh, the war had been uh, pretty quiet for the Navy apart from the Battle of Jutland. A couple of disasters earlier in the war in which our Banstead men were involved, then Jutland in 16. Um, and then um, Spanish flu hits the fleet in the autumn of 1918. Harry Gurney is not actually officially a Spanish flu uh, victim, but he did die of tuberculosis at the height of the epidemic. And even though his uh, death certificate doesn't mention it, it's seems to me quite likely that he probably was suffering from flu um, at the time. The other major engagement, um, apart from Jutland, was that fought at Gallipoli in 1915, an action in which Harry uh, took place. So today's poem is from Gallipoli. Uh, it's called From W Beach by Geoffrey Dearmer. Um, w Beach was north of the entrance to the Narrows um, through which the fleet had sailed uh, a few months before um, this particular poem uh, was written. Um, their job was to bombard the Turkish defences um, and clear the way for the um, uh, landing of a, an amphibious force to um, assault Constantinople, capital of the Ottoman um, Empire. Uh, it was a costly failure. From W Beach. The Isle of Imbros, set in turquoise blue, lies to the westward. On the eastern side, the purple hills of Asia fade from view and rolling battleships at anchor ride. White flocks of cloud float by, the sunset glows, and dipping gulls fleck a slow waking sea, where dim steel-shadowed forms with foaming bows wind up in the narrows towards Gallipoli. No colour breaks this tongue of barren land, save where a group of huddled tents gleams white. Before me, ugly shapes like spectres stand, and wooden crosses cleave the waning light. Now the sky gardeners speed the hurrying day, and sow the plains of night with silver grain. So shall this transient havoc fade away, and the proud cape be beautiful again. Laden with figs and olives, or a freight of purple grapes, tanned singing men shall row, chanting wild songs of how eternal fate withstood that fierce invasion long ago. We're now going to toll the bell a hundred times in Harry's uh, memory. Um, is there anyone here that hasn't told the bell before that would like to, to do it? If you haven't done it, you're running out of opportunities. Do you want to come over?
there, but going down to the sun and in the water, we will remember it. We will.